54-man unit. That's what we are. You are done for each other. Go, go, go. Everybody and welcome into this week's show as the Lakers move to four and one thanks to a win over Hillsdale College by a 46 14 score on the show this week we'll of course look back at highlights and hear from head coach Matt Mitchell and some of the players you'll get a special feature on Matt Williams the two sports star here at Grand Valley and we'll give you a player profile and senior wideout justice right it's all ahead on GVSU football weekly let's get started. Hey, this is exactly, exactly what this team needs right now in 2015. Okay, this opponent, this night, this opportunity is exactly what you need. If you believe like we have believed down at ODU, the bounce back after Ferris, this is exactly what this team needs right now. As we go to first half highlights, Grand Valley wins the coin toss and defers to the second half. Grand Valley's defense began with a strong effort as they'd force a punt. They're going to tilt the field right here. Matt Williams is a guy who will run up and make the tough catch. He's not going to have to run up too much on this one. But he does make the catch, and it's a great run Excellent. back by Williams. Williams, one man to beat. Got rid of the putter. Inside. Matt Williams to the house. Touchdown, Lakers. Well, that's an explosive play. I'll say. And what this kid does is that he'll catch it and he'll go directly into traffic. Miffs it, looking to throw, getting some heat. This is up in the air. Free ball. Hillsdale, though, is not going to be deterred. They're going to keep running it. Lewis took another tough hit. Schlosser got him. And now Martavius Carter in the protector position. Leaks out of the backfield late. Williams has got plenty of time. That's a good pitch and catch. Martavius Carter stays on. He's going to get it here on this play. Carter with a burst. Carter still moving all the way down to the 30 yard line. It's a pickup of 19 on the play for Marty Carter of the contest. Back to the ground. Why not? Now Spencer stays on his feet and gets down inside the 10. It's going to be close to a first down. Grand Valley's going up top this yep. time. They're throwing across the middle. It's tip. Oh, what a catch by Jamie Potts. <laughs> Out of deflection. Just an amazing, amazing play to reach back. And you could hear the roar of the people down in the end zone. They saw clearly what happened. Hillsdale's loaded up to the near side of the field. And they're coming this way. And that Excellent. ball is smashed <laughs> down by Matt Judon, who almost got that one back with nothing but green space between himself in the goal line. Beautiful play by the All-America defensive end, Matt Judon. Grand Valley's got a man wide open here, and this is Bean who's gonna pick up the first down just because of his long body. At the end, but uh, here we go again. Grand Valley looking for nice Potts, and Jamie's now. got this one. He's down to the 26 yard line. That's a big pickup for the Lakers. He did well to slide. Now he's got to avoid a sack in this situation. Running left, throwing. It's out there. It's caught. Matt Williams dragging people out of bounds at the seven yard line. Boy, Matt Williams having a night. Now they're going to throw it. It's Potts on the post, and it's a touchdown. Beautiful play action there, and Jamie Potts is into the end zone for the second time tonight with 109 left in the half. Grand Valley moves on top by the score of 20 to 7. Coming up after the break, second half highlights for you as Grand Valley will get the ball, leading by seven. This is GVSU Football Weekly. We'll be back after this. My fat hand king! My fat hand king! Good. You look good. This is my fat head. I 
is so excited for her. The goosebumps. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! Do you like it? I love it! If you sign up for DirecTV's latest deal, prepare to be blindsided. Because they'll double your rate before you know it. And you'll find you're locked into a two-year contract that could cost you over 3,000 bucks. That's why the smart choice is Xfinity. You can see all the best action in football all season long. With no surprises, don't get blindsided by DirecTV. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. At Metro Health, we don't see patients, we see people. And when it comes to their health care, there's one thing we're all working toward, helping them feel better. Better summers, better dances, better retirements, and better roads ahead. This is what we want for every person we see every day. Better Metro Health, better all around. And welcome back. As we go into second half highlights now, Grand Valley has a 21-14 lead at the break. The Lakers would get the ball first and begin with a very strong drive. Getting Hillsdale where they want them. Oh, this is a pooch kick. It's a good idea. Grand Valley's not going to fair catch us. They're going to run the ball, and that's a smart play made there. You see the defensive guys whooping it up, and the reason for that is that was Joe Moran, the middle linebacker. I don't think you'll see that one again from Grand Valley. They've run it twice, and neither time any good. Williams. Going to throw it out Excellent. here, throw Great it over work. the top, and Jamie Potts has got a first down all the way down to the 42-yard line. I'm not sure how Williams even sensed that defensive back coming up. The guy tried to jump in front of Jamie, and Bart Williams just dropped it over the top. Let's see if Grand Valley goes back to the ground game with Carter here. Oh, it's no, the quarterback, keep it. <laughs> and he's not it's... diving either. Grand Valley second down in passing situation, open, complete, and that is Joey Robbins down to the 10-yard line. Nice catch, I believe the first of the year that we've seen from Joe. Grand Valley looking to Spencer. He's got the left side. Spencer, close. Did he get in? I think he's just shy. He, yeah, Boy, out of bounds at the one. I don't know that he went out. I'd like to see this one again. because yeah, he, th he thinks he's in. His feet are up in the air, and he spins over the pylon. Here we go, going for the hat trick. No, he's going to take off. No, he's oh. got a man in the back of the end zone. It it's down. It's a score, and it is Matt Williams. Great adjustment. His second touchdown of the night, and you're absolutely right. 27. Oh, oh no. A well, safety, that perhaps. that streak. He's got to hang on to that ball. Oh, and he just got lit up. And this is going to come to Kirk at about the 22-yard line. He's got the wedge set up. Can he follow his blockers? Doesn't goal. need to. Ah. Just goes straight up the middle. Grand Valley looking to... Go for the knockout. Ali Ajami again. You know it's coming, and you still can't stop him. Three straight. Seems to hold. The kick is up from Skipper, and it's going to good. squeeze through. Well done, Joel Skipper. Kirk Spencer is back in. Come. And this oh, is going to be the quarterback. Yeah, and how about this? Bart Look Williams. This. He's going for a million. Up. Here's Marty Carter. He's got space. He's got room. He is not going to be tackled. I think Ottermine might have expected this once or twice. This is 33 yards of a scoring run for Martavius Carter. Lewis is back deep with Fricky. This is a better kick from Skipper this time. Angled toward the sideline. It's a fumble. And ball Grand is there to be got. got. In Grand Valley, do they keep it? I don't know if they ever got to it or not. Yep. Yes, they do. The Lakers get on the football. Snap is down, the kick is up. Skip's got enough on it. And once again, he is perfect in one knee for Ryan West, and that will do it. So Grand Valley comes back after a big mistake made at the end of the first half and really rolls in the second half. They keep the Chargers off the scoreboard. The Lakers go on to win it 46 to 14. We came back and we really started clicking on offense. Uh, we saw what they were doing. A couple, couple things that were a little different um, than we expected. But we did a good job adjusting and uh, completing passes when we needed to, and we ran the ball well.
if a home phone could also be a smartphone? And what if that home phone could save you money on your home and wireless bill at the same time? With Xfinity Voice, you get amazing technology like readable voicemail on your smartphone, caller ID on your TV, and even text messaging, all for a low price. Start saving with unlimited nationwide talk and text and switch to Xfinity Voice for just $19.99 a month for 12 months. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. I'm almost done. Now you can pay your bill. Manage your appointments. And check your connection status. Anytime, anywhere. Oh, so you're protesting? Okay. Introducing Xfinity My Account. Available on any device. I mean, we've got a really tight, tight room, and uh, me, Bean, Joe, Erston, Nick, all of them, Christian. Um, we, we love going, going to work every day with each other and making each other better. So. For the second straight week, Grand Valley put together a strong offensive effort with a stifling defense. Let's hear now from head coach Matt Mitchell. Well, coach, obviously, um, big win tonight. First quarter, Hillsdale possesses the ball for nearly 14 minutes. Uh, you guys return the punt for touching and, and are leading. Uh, but then they have the ball for the rest of the first quarter and score one play into the second quarter. Talk about your thought process during that first quarter when time's running off the clock. Yeah, you know, we um, get get to stop on defense. Our offense should have done something with the first drive. We didn't. We I think uh, we weren't very opportunistic throwing and catching. You know, we uh, had Justice right wide open, and the ball was a little bit low, and Justice dropped the ball. So we didn't take advantage of our first offensive possession. And then we get another stop on defense, and they punt it back to us. And then Matt Williams does a great job. Uh, we talked about, you know, throughout the course of the week that their gunners were going to be in his face, that he was going to have to get a little bit aggressive here to try to create some momentum in this game. And he did exactly what he needed to do. I thought our team, you know, our punt return team did a good job holding people up. And so we get that momentum score at 7 nothing. But you come back with two great drives, uh, 12 plays, 84 yards, the results in a Potts five-yard touchdown reception, and then another Potts touchdown reception from Barbara Williams. So you guys get up 21-7. And you got to feel good offensively at that point. Yeah, you know, we uh, that was a long drive that we scored on there, kind of put some plays together and created momentum to get the 14-7. We get a stop, get the ball back. And, uh, you know, we take it down there and, uh, you know, made some plays. Like you said, uh, you know, Jamie Potts makes a nice play in the end zone on a catch, and it's 21-7. And uh, you feel like you're, you know, at that point kind of control of the game and uh, you go ahead and kick off to them. And then, you know, we had that series basically with about a minute left in the first half where things – um, didn't go our way, um, you know, and you can look back and question things, but we wanted to be aggressive with Barton. You've, you've concentrated in the second half, last three weeks. Um, you've wanted to improve in that area uh, in that third quarter, and you had to be impressed. Barton was back, engineers, a 11-play, uh, 65-yard drive um, to kind of get, get the momentum back in your favor. Yeah, and, I, and I, a lot of it comes back to um, the, the coin toss. You know, we made a decision that if we, uh, you know, won the toss, uh, that we wanted to defer, you know, to the second half. And it's just huge getting the ball to start the second half because you can make adjustments, you can kind of see what's going on. And then, so I give our offensive coaches credit. I also give our players a ton of credit. You know, we were up 21-7, and then all of a sudden, all the momentum in the world shifts over to their sideline. And their crowd, you know, the fans they had, they traveled decent. They were all fired up. You could feel all that heading in the locker room. And it been very easy for a quarterback to be down on himself throwing that pick and putting ourselves in that bad situation. But... You know, I came in and said, hey, we're going to be aggressive. It is what it is. You, you made a bad play. Let's bounce back. Let's get it figured out. Figured out. And I just thought that drive that he had, the first drive of the third quarter by Bart Williams, was great. I mean, he, he made a lot of throws. He kind of ad-libbed a couple times and made some plays. You know, things were not necessarily on balance all the time. He kind of made some plays, including the touchdown. We were trying to hit a, a pass to somebody else, and they battled it up good. And he just kind of stayed alive and fat Matt Williams in the back of the end zone. So, that drive was huge, you know, for us to get back to a two-score lead after what had happened in the first half and just the confidence. You could feel the confidence on our sideline. I think that was really big for our football team. A lot of credit to Bart Williams on that drive. Scored 22 points in the third quarter. Um, hold Hill Zoto zero. Also in the third quarter, you get uh, two field goals by Skipper. You get a safety on the snap on the punt that goes over the head. And, and Marty Carter, 33-yard touchdown run. Talk a bit about just kind of build momentum and how you – the defense really propelled that. Yeah, you know, I think one of the biggest things I said in the halftime was that, you know, hey, you guys are playing great on defense. We hadn't really given up any big plays, you know, big explosive plays like the previous week, and I really felt like we were stopping the run. You know, we were stopping the run very effectively and controlling line scrimmage. So 
I said, we got to lead, you know, defense, uh, they don't score, we win. Uh, Joel Skipper, another, you know, great night for him. I think a career high, three field goals, made all his X points and field goals. And had it not been for a couple special teams penalties, I really thought we dominated the special teams at the end of play, and we're getting better on that end. Nice win by nice game this evening by Bart. 19 for 32. Really hit a lot of different targets tonight. You can see he's kind of becoming more comfortable with the entire receiving core. Yeah, and I think that's the strength of our offense is our, our depth of back and our depth of wide receiver, you know, and our offensive line is getting better. But <clears throat> we're, we're, we had a sophomore quarterback, and you can see game after game, you just get more comfortable out there. He's not getting quite as rattled. And uh, we're doing a good job offensively of spreading the ball around. There's no <clears throat> Charles Johnson, just one receiver that we're looking at all the time. We can, with our talent, we can kind of divide the field a little bit more and allow him to do that. So, um, yeah, I, I thought uh, all those receivers have been continuing to step up and really make some plays. We had a couple drops. You know, like I said, Jamie Potts had a drop one time. we got to work on a couple of those things. But uh, I thought our receivers played extremely well um, against a secondary that, you know, was a little bit banged up and, and younger than we should have. I thought they took advantage of our opportunities. He's a key part of the wide receiver core. Coming up after this break, our player profile on senior wide receiver Justice Wright. Metro Health, we don't see patients, we see people. And when it comes to their health care, there's one thing we're all working toward, helping them feel better. Better summers, better dances, better retirements, and better roads ahead. This is what we want for every person we see every day. Better Metro Health, better all around. You learn something every single day at Grand Valley State University about who you are and who you can become, about where you've been and where you're going, about your goals and how to accomplish them. At the end of the day, you know what you want from life. Find it within yourself. Find it within Grand Valley State University. And welcome back. I'm Steve Lloyd Jones. Time for our player profile this week. It's on senior wide receiver Justice Wright. My favorite part about being at Grand Valley and playing receiver here is uh, the friendships I've made and the brothers. Like after football, like I know I always have these guys. Like Matt, for instance, Matt Judon. I came in with him, and after like me and him, we'll, our bond will never break. Justice Wright is in his final season with the Lakers and he is taking his last year in stride. Well, Justice is, uh, he's always been that utility guy for a long time that traveled to a lot of games and uh, his knowledge of our offense and his ability to play multiple positions has always been a strength for him. I have a great position coach, uh, Coach Ginn, and like he just taught me how to be like a better man. Like through adversity, through it all, like I had some tough times here, and like through all of that, like he he's he has helped me get through that. Unfortunately, injuries have marred his career, but Justice has used those injuries to grow. Yeah, injuries came in with an injury, then got back from that, then got another injury. So it's just been like battle after battle. And like at the same time, like I had Coach Mitch and Coach uh, again, like never give up on me and just told me just keep working hard and I'll get back out here on the field. He's good. A lot of persistence. Uh, football is very important to him. It means a lot to him. He gets it that you're not going to have this experience every year, the rest of your life. And I think he's really trying to take 
uh, every advantage and, and make the most of it. Justice is also embracing his role as a senior leader on the Laker football team. It's just me playing my role. Like the, the younger guys looking up to me, so I just try to carry myself in a professional manner, like on and off the field. When Justice's football career is finished, he will take his lessons learned at Grand Valley and apply them to life. Um, lessons I learned here and applying it to life is just just keep fighting with, with everything. Like things aren't always going to go my way. And like when they don't, like I don't need to get pouty about it. I just need to keep working harder and eventually things will work out. For this week's Laker Lightning Round, we are joined by quarterback Ryan West. Ryan, are you ready for Laker Lightning Round today? Let's do it. What is the best part about playing football at GV? It's really fun. Who's the player on the team most like you? Matt Williams. What is your favorite part of camp? The weather. What was the first car you ever drove? A Ford Explorer. Do you have a celebrity crush? Uh, Whitney Houston. Best dancer on the team? <laughs> Easily myself. Favorite movie? Uh, Batman. Best singer on the team? Uh, Sonny. Favorite breakfast meal? Uh, green eggs and ham. Get up early or sleep in? Neither. Favorite thing to do outside of football? Uh, go to the park. Best nickname on the team and who has it? Uh, easily Ben, it's beef. One thing you always hear from Coach Mitchell? Uh, run! Best comedian on the team? Myself. Funniest thing that has happened at practice? I hit someone in the head with a ball. Hardest hitter on the team? Uh, Bart. Favorite TV show? Uh, Full House. Best dresser on the team? Myself. Worst dresser on the team? Jamie Potts. Favorite food? Uh, bacon. And your best moment at GV? running out on the field. Thank you, Ryan West, for participating in this week's Laker Lightning Round. <laughs> that was spot on. That was spot on. Stay with us. Coming up next, our special feature on two-sport athlete Matt Williams. You're watching GVSU Football Weekly. We'll be right back. Nice to meet you guys. I have these two laptops. We're gonna each download a TV show. I'm gonna download it on Xfinity, and you guys are gonna download it with AT&T Uverse, and we're gonna see who goes faster. Go. Well, this is a no-brainer so far. How's AT&T doing? Struggling. I'm ready to go. We'll wait for you guys. Looks like we're gonna be waiting for a while. Don't let Uverse slow you down. Upgrade to an Xfinity X1 triple play from Comcast and save when you bundle. See for yourself. Call 1-800-XFINITY or visit Comcast.com today. At Metro Health, we don't see patients, we see people. And when it comes to their health care, there's one thing we're all working toward, helping them feel better. Better summers, better dances, better retirements, and better roads ahead. This is what we want for every person we see every day. Better. Metro Health. Better all around. Last Saturday was Family Day at the GVSU football game. Many families came out for the GVSU Family Weekend put on by the university. Go Lakers! Woo! There was a tailgating zone by the tennis courts for families and many people enjoyed the 1,000 hot dogs that were given away. Go Lakers! These festivities really helped make the atmosphere even better for the game against Hillsdale. As always, Family Day was a success.
and welcome back to GVSU Football Weekly. I'm Steve Lloyd-Jones. Matt Williams, you know him on the football field well, but he's also a baseball player, and he's this week's subject in our special feature on our two sport athletes. Gets it away, and it's a line drive right at Williams. Plenty of room. Up to the 50. Got a seat. Into Cougar territory. Still on his feet at the 30. Finally taken down at the 24-yard line. A huge return. Matt Williams is a two-sport athlete for the GVSU football team. When the spring begins, Williams heads to the diamond as a member of the Laker baseball team. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of hard work. Um, you're never, you don't really have a lot of free time. Um, once football ends, baseball starts, and you only get pretty much winter break. But I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way. I love doing both sports. Um, I'm just glad Grand Valley gave me a chance to do that, and I'm very thankful for that. Matt didn't begin his career at Grand Valley, but his arrival has worked out well for him and the Lakers. Well, Matt was a two-sport athlete in Northern Illinois, and that opportunity kind of came to an end, and that's how we got him, was the opportunity to continue to play two sports. So that was an attraction for him to come here. Playing both sports does help him develop as an athlete. All, all sports really go hand in hand, hand eye coordination, different, doing different things with your body and a lot of body control and baseball and football and especially pitching. When I'm pitching, you gotta have a lot of body control and balance and football helps with that, I guess, too. So. Additionally, time management has been a huge part for Williams as he balances two sports and academics. He's handled it very well. Uh, he enjoys competition. He enjoys being in season and playing two sports allows him to pretty much be in season 12 months a year. So uh, it's worked out very well. You get used to it after a while. Uh, you, you learn when, when you can do certain things and when you can't do certain things, when you can go have fun with your friends or when you can do your homework or when you have to lock in and go watch film or do something else. So, Naturally, Williams absolutely loves playing both sports. Uh, favorite part of football is playing in front, of, in front of all the fans and lovers, without a doubt. I can't really create a different atmosphere than that. And, with football, you just all, all the brotherhood you, you share. And I, I feel like um, in baseball, I love just playing. I mean, regardless practice, games, traveling on the bus, just, just being around baseball, really, really I, I enjoy that part of it. And I, I don't know, I just love them both. I wish I could do them both forever, but I mean, they're gonna end eventually. So just kind of living it up and playing, playing them both. As an athlete, Williams is exceptional for the Laker football team. Yeah, as a wide receiver, Matt has exceptional hands. Um, he's not the fastest guy out there, not the most explosive, but he does a great job uh, judging the ball and uh, uh, catching it. And he's made some plays with his athleticism that maybe we didn't expect. Well, that'll do it for this week's edition of GVSU Football Weekly, as the Lakers are now 4-1 and one with this win against Hillsdale. Next week, Grand Valley's on the road at Wayne State. We'll bring you highlights of that game, plus coaches' reaction and players as well. I'm Steve Lloyd-Jones. Thanks for watching GVSU Football Weekly. Go Lakers! What if a home phone could also be a smartphone? And what if that home phone could save you money on your home and wireless bill at the same time? With Xfinity Voice, you get amazing technology like readable voicemail on your smartphone, caller ID on your TV, and even text messaging, all for a low price. Start saving with unlimited nationwide talk and text and switch to Xfinity Voice for just $19.99 a month for 12 months. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. Almost done. Now you can pay your bill, manage your appointments, and check your connection status. Anytime, anywhere. Oh, so you're protesting? Okay. Introducing Xfinity My Account, available on any device.